We all know that if you've got a massive YouTube channel and audience, you can make some pretty good money. But one of the biggest myths and misconceptions on social media today is that you need to have a YouTube channel with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, even tens of millions in order to make some real good money. And that's simply not true. And I'm proof as my small but mighty YouTube channel was generating an additional $100,000 per year in revenue for my business when I had less than 1,000 subscribers on my channel. So how is that possible? Possible. Well, that's what this episode is all about. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the single most effective way for entrepreneurs to make big money with a small YouTube channel. So let's get to it. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, marketing strategist and welcome to the channel. All right, we've got no time to waste, so let's dive right in with one of the biggest myths and misconceptions on YouTube, which is that you need a massive audience in order to make any real money. The problem with this myth and with this false belief is that it stops a lot of people from even going out there and starting because the thought of having to go out there and create a YouTube channel that's gonna have thousands of videos and millions and millions of followers, well, it either seems completely unrealistic or or at the very best case, realistic, but a crazy amount of work. And this explains why so many people put off on starting a YouTube channel for their businesses, or they start a YouTube channel, they produce a few videos, and then they give up because things just aren't happening as quickly as they were hoping. So with all that said, what is the number one way for entrepreneurs to be generating real revenue, real dollars from YouTube? Well, it's by using YouTube as a lead generation strategy. Essentially, what this means is using YouTube more as a traffic channel and more as a way to generate that no like, and trust factor that is required for someone to do business with you. Essentially, using YouTube as a means to an end rather than just as the ends itself. So essentially, using YouTube to really push and promote your business and your personality and your brand rather than trying to directly monetize on YouTube through AdSense or merch or affiliates or anything like that. In short, this strategy involves making as much high quality and relevant YouTube content as possible, and more on that in just a minute, but then giving it all away for free, knowing that your ideal customers are out there, they're watching, they're listening, and they're starting to know, like, and trust you more and more every single video that you put out. Now, obviously there is a method to the madness and a way to make this all so much more effective than just going out there, producing a bunch of videos, and hoping to make an extra six figures or multi six figures, or even seven figures from your YouTube channel, which which is totally possible if you do it in the right way. But I'm getting ahead of myself, more on that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the power of YouTube and the power of video marketing. You see, the power of video, the power of YouTube, is that not only is it an amazingly powerful tool to help you go out there and put your best foot forward and really make a powerful first introduction and, and really set the precedent for what your brand is like, what your personality is like, and what doing business is with you is like, so essentially just making a really good intro, but it can also help you to deepen that connection and deepen that level of relationship with your viewers, with your audience, and with your potential and current customers and clients by showing up again and again. Really, it allows you to have that one-to-many approach by producing one video and then allowing hundreds of people or thousands of people or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, yes, even potentially millions of people to see your content. Plus, next to being face-to-face -face and having that kind of one-on-one -on -one personal interaction, well, video really is the next best tool that allows someone to hear your voice and to see your body language and to resonate and to connect with you way better than they can through audio or through text or through any other form of medium available. Video is powerful stuff, which explains why so many of the top brands and the top businesses are using it, not just as a part of their marketing strategy, but as a core fundamental aspect of their strategy. And in fact, many of the best businesses you see today are prioritizing video as that pillar content, that main area that they're focusing on. And from there, they're syndicating, they're cutting up, they're sharing and distributing that content into different kinds of media and on different channels. All right, so enough on that. Let's get tactical here and dive into the specifics on how you can use your small but mighty YouTube channel to drive big profits. All right, so there's five things that you're going to need in order to drive big profits from a small YouTube channel. That starts with having a high ticket business or high ticket offer. Now this first piece of the puzzle is pretty obvious. I mean, obviously you're going to need some kind of a business if you wanna drive profits from your YouTube channel. Now where things get a little more nuanced and a little more detailed is that ideally this offer or your business should be something that is a high ticket, high value, high price service. Essentially something that you can charge a lot for and in exchange deliver an absolute ton of value. Contrast this with something you don't wanna sell, which is something that would be transactional 
transactional or something for only a dollar or two or something that you're not really going to be able to make a large enough number of transactions or purchases in order to generate the income you're after. This is why for small channels, most of the traditional advice out there for YouTube just simply doesn't work. I mean, affiliate marketing is great if you're getting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of views. The same thing goes for making ad revenue on your videos. This is great if you're getting a ton of views, you can make some pretty decent cash. But when you're first getting started, if you've only got a, a thousand subscribers or 500 subscribers or even 50 subscribers, well, you're simply not going to be making the money more than like five bucks a month. And this was a huge trap that I fell into when I first got started in YouTube. Watched all of the influencers talk about YouTube strategies and how to make a ton of money on YouTube, which was something I was absolutely passionate about. And I realized very quickly that the big money wasn't going to be coming from affiliates or from ads. It was going to be coming from using YouTube as a lead gen source for my main consulting and coaching and course based business. That's why if your business revolves around something like coaching or consulting or courses or memberships or running an agency or anything like that, perfect. You're absolutely set here and we can move on to the next step. If that's not you, however, well, you may want to pivot or at least see if you can include some aspect or some element of a high ticket offer or something like that that's going to enable you to really benefit from having a smaller channel. All right, so let's move on to the second thing that you're going to need here, which is an ideal customer avatar. Now, an ideal customer avatar or ICA for short essentially is a fictional representation of the characteristics that make up your absolute best customers and clients. You know, the ones I'm talking about, the ones that you love talking to, the ones you love serving, the ones who love you back and are happy to pay you for the true value you provide. Well, obviously you want more of them. So how you get more of them is by first identifying who they really are. And this comes down to identifying their demographic details like age, gender, income, occupation, their geographic details like what city or state or province or country they live in, and their psychographic details like their attitudes, their interests, their beliefs, and all the stuff they think about. The better that you're able to clearly articulate and clearly define who your ideal customer avatar or ICA is, the better you're going to be able to create content that really speaks directly to them and makes them feel understood. Another thing you're going to want to do here is the next point, which is really uncover their miracles and their miseries. You see, when you're crafting your ICA, you really want to dial in on your ideal customer avatars, fears and problems and pains and frustrations and all the stuff they're trying to move away from essentially their miseries. You also want to identify their goals and their dreams and their desires and their aspirations and their wants, essentially all of their miracles and the things they're trying to move towards. The better that you're able to identify their miseries and their miracles, well, the better you're going to be able to create content that speaks directly to them and essentially positions you as the expert and the authority that helps them move away from all the pain and towards all the good stuff. All right, the next piece of the puzzle is having a lead magnet. So at this stage, what you're going to want to do is be able to take all of the attention that you've gained through your channel and through your content and turn it into leads and into prospects and into clients and customers. And the way you do that is with a lead magnet. Now, just to make sure we're all on the same page here, a lead magnet is anything that you're going to give away in exchange for your clients or customers name and email contact details, things like that. So you could offer a free video or a free PDF checklist or a download or a blueprint or a guide or a webinar or anything like that, essentially giving them something of value for free in exchange for their contact details so you can follow up with them later. This really is the starting point for the relationship and is going to allow you to nurture that relationship and to continue to add value and again, to continue building those touch points and showing up again and again in front of your ideal customer avatar to build even more trust. Plus, once you have their contact information, not only can you follow up with value, as you should, but you can also let them know time and time again about your business, about your offers, and about the services that you provide to them, giving you even more opportunities to make that sale and to turn that lead into a client or customer. All right, the next thing here is setting a goal of 26 videos. Now, why 26 videos? Well, essentially what I like to suggest here is having a time frame of around six months or three months if you're extra ambitious. But if you do around six months and you aim to produce about a video a week, you're gonna end up 26 videos. Of course, you can cut this in half and you could do two videos a week for three months and you get the same amount. 
point being here is that you're going to need some element of consistency in order to not only get better at producing videos, but also to build up a decent content library, essentially video assets that are going to work for you 24-7, 365 to promote you, to talk about your authority and expertise, and to continue drawing that ideal customer avatar towards you. But perhaps one of the best things of this all, and something that nobody talks about, is that even if you produce videos for three months, or six months, or even 12 months, and then just quit completely, you've still got all of these assets working for you to drive in new traffic, drive in new attention, and drive in new leads to your business. And this is why YouTube is such an incredibly powerful social media network. I mean, you simply can't go and create a whole bunch of content on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere else and expect people to keep on finding it and consuming it for days and months and years to come. But on YouTube, you can. And this is why it is absolutely possible to make big money from a small YouTube channel, provided you're strategic, provided you follow the steps we talked about today, and provided that you make sure that you're creating valuable content that speaks directly to the needs of your ideal customer avatar. This is also why the very next thing you're going to want to do is check out the video I have linked up right here on introduction to marketing, which is going to make sure that everything we've talked about today is that much more effective. So check it out now, and I'll see you in the next episode. Anytime you try to convince friends or family to see a certain movie or eat at this restaurant or not that, or basically try to convince them to do anything, marketing's happening.